Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ezraautomation.com and welcome to another video of Ezra Automation. And today we're going to talk about spec flow integration with Visual Studio 2019 for Mac versus Rider of IntelliJ. And this IDE, the Rider IDE of IntelliJ, as we all know that it is a cross-platform IDE which runs on Windows, Mac and Linux operating system and it also has an official spec flows plugin. And we also know that Visual Studio 2019 for Mac has no official extension of Specflow. So there is no official extension, which means you can't really use Specflow as seamlessly as you would in Windows operating system. And today we're going to just quickly see how the IDE experience or the Specflow's extension uh, usage in IntelliJ IDE's rider as well as the Visual Studio of 2019 in a quick glimpse. So for that, I'm actually going to be using one of our project in our GitHub repo, which is nothing but the specflows .NET Core repo, as you can see over here, the specflows C Sharp .NET Core. And we are going to be using this particular repo and we'll see how the experience is going to look like in both Visual Studio 2019 for Mac as well as in the Rider IDE. And I have already installed the Rider for Mac within my machine and it is already up and running. So I'm going to quickly show you that as well. But first of all, let's try to clone this particular repo and see how the experience is going to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open my terminal and I'm going to create a new directory and I'm going to call this as Selenium git repo and I'm just going to go to the Selenium uh, git repo and I'm going to just do a git clone and I'm going to copy or clone this particular uh, repo into this particular directory. While this is happening, I'm also going to show you how the IntelliJ's writer is going to look like. So if I just type this writer, you will see that Rider is already available within my machine and you can download this Rider for 30 days for free. You get almost all the experience like the premium experience on this particular 30 days. But after that you have to purchase and there is no community version of Rider available where you can use it for as long as you can, like how you would in the Java language. But in Rider, it's like limited 30 days as of now. So that is one of the downside for using Rider, uh, at least for 30 days. Uh, I mean, after 30 days, you can't really use this IDE. Uh, but I will quickly show you like how it is. And I don't really have any subscription as well at the moment. And I will uh, show you how the Rider IDE is going to look like. So I've opened it and it has actually opened in my uh, different window. So it's loading. And the bad news about this Rider is the Rider has not released a uh, Apple M1 support yet. So if you have Apple M1 like me, you will not see the same experience or the speed of Rider that you can get from uh, the Apple M1 chipsets. The reason being it is still running on the Rosetta 2 emulation layer. Uh, so it will be a bit slower, but soon I think that's gonna be coming up because the team has told the .NET 6 version is gonna have the uh, cross-platform support uh, that too for M1 and they're gonna be supporting this particular stuff within by then. So yeah, just waiting for that. Uh, so this is the IDE as you would see and we are gonna be uh, opening this particular project in this particular uh, location. So I'm just gonna open and there is this Selenium Git repo and I'm gonna open this particular uh, project. And it says that I have downloaded from a Git. Uh, so do you want me to thrust? And I have thrusted that. And you can see that it is a bit slower as I told you because it's running on the uh, emulation layer. So it, it will be a bit slower for the first time and then for the next time it will be faster. There we go. The project has been uh, loaded because I could see the readme file is coming up, which is quite good. I'm gonna close this readme file uh, and you can see that automatically it is gonna be restoring all the packages. So there is a feature folder which is coming up uh, and there is gonna be pages as well as you can see over here and there is the steps which is nothing but the spec flow step definition file and while this is happening i have actually installed the spec flow plugin in the riders ide so if you just go to the uh, rider over here go to the preference and if you search for the uh, plugins 
you can see that spec flow for rider i have actually installed the spec flow for rider and you can see that this is released by spec flow team so this is an official uh, extension which is already available by the spec flow team and they have released it just for this ide at the moment uh, which is good as well because it's a cross-platform tool and it's already there and we get the same experience like how we can do it on the windows operating system all right so uh, you can see that it currently says that cannot match the step definition over here um, and i could see that this problem actually happened to me every time uh, i think it's because of my mac machine because it's taking a bit of time for binding all the step definitions so what i usually do is like I just try to delete this guy the binding i save it and again um oops i just type the binding again over here like this uh and if i just come back you can see that the error is gone uh that was one thing i think it is not really identifying or uh, searching for the step definition for the first time like as it does in the windows uh, version of um, the spec flow uh, but yeah it is now found and you can also see that the writer is intelligent enough to restore all the NuGet packages for us um, so if you go to the uh, NuGet over here uh, to the packages it will show you all the installed packages like uh, any unit uh, three test adapters any unit console runner spec flow any unit and uh, ms build generations and stuff so everything is coming up and if i just hit this um, control and if i click this link over here it will take me back to that particular step definition so the step definition navigation is also there uh, pretty much like how it does for the other uh, ides and once i click this particular table over here you can see that it is going to show us the decompiled version of the complete code uh, coming up over here uh, like the table uh, implementation again because i'm using the 30 days trial and it is like an unlimited version like it has got all the professional features it is decompiling the whole code and it's showing me uh, but again it is the exact same thing that you can see in the resharper of visual studio even in windows if you have the resharper plugin you will see the same kind of uh, same kind of experience but again it's all coming along with this particular ide and that's why i could see everything coming up just quite cool all right so well as that said you can see that the whole code is coming up and in order to run this particular spec flow test all i'm going to do is i just have to go to this unit test tab over here and you can see that there is something called as an explorer which is quite good and once i do a build solution you will see that it is building this particular whole project There we go the build got finished and now if i go to the unit test you will see that there is going to be a feature and then that there is a login feature and there is this login user as administrator uh, which is coming from this particular feature file over here login user as administrator and i can just right click and run the selected test uh, or debug the select debug the selected test uh, and things of that nature it's pretty much like how it does for the other um other languages like even for the java uh, so it is starting to run the test and you can see that it is showing the running and it also shows that it is going to be running the n unit assembly hook initially and then the feature files and everything so uh, i think it's even more uh, better verbose way of showing us what's happening and you can see that the test is actually running behind the scene so it has opened the browser for us and it is clicking the login entering the username and password and the test got completed which is quite cool and i'm pretty excited to see that this is a pretty good uh, experience while writing the code itself because uh, it also shows much detail like how the test has to be uh, scenarios has to be written and you can also get the same uh, intelligence experience while you write the scenarios like this like scenario and if i say another uh, scenario like this oops and then if i type like given uh, i you can see that the intelligence comes in which is all cool i mean this is these are the experiences which we were missing in the mac operating system but with the riders uh, spec flow plugin it is actually happening which is pretty cool and i will quickly show you how the same experience is going to look like in visual studio uh, for mac uh, in 2019 version uh, and you will see that how bad it is so the reason being there is no extension official extension supported yet so I'm going to open the Visual Studio 2019 uh, for Mac. There is the one and I'm going to hit open. 
I'm just gonna go to the this version of it. So you can see that Visual Studio 2019 for Mac actually has got exactly the same thing, pretty much like how it was, uh, it, it usually used to show for other tests, but you can see that the login feature.cs file is the only thing which has been shown, not that particular feature file, which you can actually edit itself. So that doesn't really come. It only shows you the, uh, the, the CS file, not the feature file itself. That is one problem. And you have to explicitly tell this particular IDE to use that particular file as well. But you can still see the test coming up over here, which is good, but it won't show you the feature file itself. And there is no way that you can navigate and stuff. But if you try to even install the extension of Visual Studio, so if you go to the extension and if you search uh, on the gallery, something like Specflow, you will get a person like Stripe, uh, Stripe's Specflow integration. It's been written like seven years before and has got a lot of bugs, which doesn't really uh, work as expected as well uh, for the modern features that you can really use in Specflow. So I really uh, am expecting from the from the Specflow team to have this extension for Visual Studio 2019 for Mac, which will be awesome because a lot of people are using Specflow in both uh, Mac and Windows. So having this extension in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac will be awesome. So that's it guys. This is one thing which I really think that we need to uh, really cover if you're really using the spec flow for your development purpose, like for testing purpose. And if you have Rider IDE, then definitely give a shot of this particular extension. It looks pretty cool and much, much easier to use. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.